Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Anywash and yes, I'm coming to you all the way from Malaysia. So, next up is this Satina um Satina DSPH200M another watch that is on loan from and loan to me from my the support uh, one of supporter of the channel Mr. Imran. So, basically he lent me two watches this time around so the uh, uh this NTH sub Barracuda that I have uh, this watch I've done a review for this particular watch and of course it is on a I want a strap.com uh, sale cloth strap or Mr. Sale cloth strap which looks really really nice anyway so <laughs> let's let's check out this uh, watch okay so this is uh, again uh, a borrowed watch from my friend and I have yet um, reviewed any Satina on the channel so this is my first and yeah I think this is looking good but it somehow this watch this NTH Barracuda outshines it so it doesn't really get wrist time because of this watch okay so let's take let's just, just get the dimensions out of the way so this is a 43 millimeters in diameter and the luck to luck is quite a long one at 50 mil and the thickness because of this what do you call this um plastic crystal uh, it makes the the thickness goes about uh 13.5 millimeters so yeah that's quite a huge watch so of course it didn't came on this uh, rally style strap it came on this um leather strap which for me um you know what i don't really like it you know it's it's just a simple i i'm not going to say it's cheap but it doesn't really feel that premium right so it's just your normal maybe an italian leather i'm not really sure but it's just mentioned here 2018 uh, satina logo here and we have a marking uh, maybe a part number for this thing of course it has this uh, quick release pins and at the other end we have this satina sign logo at the buckle which of course this is your not your typical run of the mill buckle but still is not really that impressive in my opinion okay so let's get to let's just check out the watch All right so this features a vintage style um vintage this is basically a release re-release of their vintage style a satina model um with the same name i think the sph200m uh, and that watch was 41 mil, so basically Satina in staying, uh, you know, maybe they want to they want to ride on the bigger watch trend, so they make it 43 millimeters, which I don't think is a good move. They should have maintained the size at 41 mil, which for me it makes it much much more sense because you are copying your vintage watches. Why don't you stay? You just make it stay that way right so anyway yeah who am i to complain right so this uh the case is a four uh, 2016 l stainless steel we have a brush surface here and we have a brush surface on the top as well i don't think any polish uh, other than the bottom side of the case and we have a crown with that satina logo here and of course we have the this black dial a matte black dial um with the Satina logo and this very very busy looking <laughs> uh, hash marks as the minute markers and of course the hour markers is just your normal rectangular style and uh, basically they are following the, the, vintage, the vintage inspiration and we have that um, red full red stand uh, full, full red uh, second hands and the pencil style uh, minute hands and of course this big uh, trapezoid uh, our hands right so what makes this dial interesting is the addition of that crosshair right so this one one and two which makes i didn't think it, it is very it is significant uh, that much but when you when when i tried to pair it uh, with another strap it kind of distracting for me it, it, it looks good but you know what when we have too many red here so where uh, finding a perfect watch strap is quite difficult because the red somehow dominates the dial right so anyway that's just that's the design right so we have this um, date uh, date wheel over here with the white wheel and we have this black stainless steel bezel insert which has this loom pip here and talking about the loom they are using the bgw9 
the blue colored loom which stays all night long if you charge it properly right so again on the bezel we have this busy looking very very busy looking hash marks here with this uh, 20 10 30 40 and 50 minutes marking which for me is just a bit too much i would prefer to have the dial with this busy minute markings but a much more simpler uh, bezel at the outside which i know for me it, it balances the watch but yeah who am i to say <laughs> about the watch design right so the crown is a screw down crown featuring this watch is featuring the movement from the Tissot group which is the Powermatic 80 which is a 20, 21,600 bits per hour watch but with that 80 hours power reserve right so that is awesome i've used this for about one day and it's, i just put it uh, i just left it down for about two days and just the, the watch is still running and of course it has this hacking second and you can adjust the day uh, sorry you can adjust time and boom it come, became three uh, 30th but today it's not the 30th today is uh it's the third of october so let's just adjust it to the current time actual time so it is now 10 a.m here oh it's here in malaysia boom and you can just date like so one uh, 31 31 first second and third of october screw it back in and you are good to go right okay so let's check out the case back the case back features this satina turtle logo which is a um what do you call this? Uh, they call this a dual protection. I can't remember what the dual protection means, but still, it is a trademark that uh, Certina DS uh, uh, dive watches have been using for a long, long time already. You can maybe you can Google it. How what is the dual protection mean? This DS means I can't really remember on top of my head right now, but yeah, it's a it's it's, it's a trademark that they've been using for quite a long time already. Okay, so and we have this. I, I don't really want to say it more, more, maybe it's called a turbine pattern <laughs> I'm not really sure okay so let's get this watch on the wrist and see how it looks like on my puny 6.75 inch wrist uh, personally I just prefer the NTH sub just because I love the uh, good dial and the perfect size of 40 mil and 48 mil luck to luck this one 43 mil diameter 50 mil luck to luck just looks wee bit too big for my wrist you can see that the luck is on the limit i i could pull it off but yeah i'm not really going to be able to wear this uh, day on daily basis maybe once in a while if if i own this watch yeah maybe once in a while but i personally prefer some this size eh? 40 mil 48 mil uh, luck to luck so anyway so if you guys have a bigger wrist so that is not a problem but yeah let's check out the loom let's check out the loom so basically the loom also has um you know what it's long lasting it's swiss super lumina bar so let's just pause the video and let's see how the loom looks like and yes you can see that the blue bgw9 loom glows really really nice in the dark and this will stay up until the morning yeah that is really nice okay so check compare that to that the green loom of the NTH subs and, and you'll notice that the green the C3 Super Lumineva loom on the NTH sub or NTH Barracuda is much much better and much brighter and you can't beat NTH for having this uh, loom crown as well and the Satina doesn't really have it any, any but anyway so we're talking about this watch right I think it's potent enough uh, good enough but not as good as the NTH Barracuda alright so Let's get the back the watch. Uh, let's get the lights back on and wrap up. Wrap this up. Okay, so finally, what do you think about this watch? So basically, I think this is a nice watch, but um, just not for me. If you have a bigger wrist, maybe seven to seven point five inch wrist, so this might suit you. But for my six point seven five inch wrist, I prefer this watch. I man, this I love this thing. <laughs> I don't want to return this watch. Ah, come on, don't tell him run, please. Okay, so if you guys if you guys love this video, please go ahead and um 
subscribe to my channel just give me a thumbs up if you want to see more future video, video reviews video review videos such as this please go ahead and give me a subscribe and push the bell notification button twice so that you won't miss of any of my future videos and until next time of course i will be doing a fashion show videos for the, for both of this of this watch um please just uh, please stay tuned to the channel and i'll see you soon bye bye